Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kauzer Vice, and this is the continuation video of depreciation accounting. You can find the playlist link in the description box to get the full collections. Now, in this video, we are going to see one numerical problem for return down value method when there is more than one machine. Okay, now let's see the problem. Return down value or diminishing balance method. Okay, a company whose accounting year is the calendar year. Calendar year means January to December. Okay, purchased on 1 1 2013 a machine for rupees 40,000. They bought one machinery on 1 1 2013. It purchased further machinery on 1 10 2013. In the same year, they have purchased another machine. Okay, for rupees 30,000. And on 1st July 2014, that is next year, for rupees 10,000, they have purchased another machinery for 10,000. So, first machinery cost 40, second machinery 30,000, and third machinery 10,000. Okay. And the next year, on 1st July 2015, one fourth of the machinery installed on 1 1 2013, that is, first machinery, became obsolete. And was sold for rupees 7000. Not the entire machinery, only one fourth of the machinery. One fourth means 25 percentage of the first machinery, that is part of the machinery alone became obsolete, that is, uh, I mean, outdated. Okay, now they have sold for rupees 7000. With this information, they are asking you to show machinery account for all the three years. Uh, under WDV method, depreciation is to be provided at 10 percentage per annum. Okay. See the solution. Machinery account according to WDV method. Okay. See the problem. A company whose accounting year is the calendar year purchased on 1 1 2013 a machine for rupees 40,000. Okay. On 1 1 2013. So, what is the entry? When you purchase asset, what is the entry? Asset account data to bank account. Okay, on 1 1 2013 to bank first machinery purchase for rupees 40,000. It purchased further machinery on 1 10 2013. In the same year, 1st October, they have purchased another machinery for 30,000. Same year, but different date. 1 10 2013, again another machinery purchased for rupees. 30,000 machine 2. See the problem. And on 1 7 2014, that's all. 2013, only two transactions were there. And now we have to calculate depreciation that too at the end of the year. Okay. The accounting year is the calendar year. No, end of the year is 31st December. So credit side 31st December 2013 by depreciation. So you have to calculate depreciation for. First machinery and second machinery at 10 percentage per annum. For machine 1, 40,000 into 10 by 100. Machine purchased on 1 1, 1st January. No, we can calculate depreciation for the full year 4,000. For the second machinery, 30,000 into 10 percentage into how many months? 1st October they have bought. No. October, November, December. Only 3 months calculation. How much? 750. So, total depreciation 4,750. That's all. Now, we can close the account to find out the closing balance. Debit side, 70,000. Enter 70,000 here. You will be getting balancing figure 65,250. This is the balance closing balance by balance carry down same date now this will become the opening balance for the next year on 1 1 2014 to balance brought down 65250 now see the problem on 1 7 2014 they have purchased another machinery for 10000 on 1 7 just make entry for this transaction. Now we are in 2014. No. So on 1 7 2014, another machinery purchase. No. To bank. This is the entry for the third machinery. How much? 10,000 rupees. 
okay see the problem is there any other transaction during 2014 that's all next 2015 that's all 2014 only one transaction now at the end of the year we have to calculate depreciation for all the three machines okay 31st december 2014 by depreciation first we need to calculate depreciation for the first two machine so this is the return down value method now so this is the return down value of the first two machines after charging the depreciation so what is the return down value 65250 now so this is the return down value 65250 now you can directly apply 10 percentage on this value 6525 this is the depreciation for the first two machines according to wdv method okay now see the third machine this is purchased during the year only now on 1st july 2014 for this you can calculate separately okay how much 10000 into 10 percentage into 6 by 12 the reason is purchased on 1st july from 1st july to till 31st december 6 months only okay how much 500 rupees so total depreciation 7025 Now you can get the total seventy five thousand two fifty seventy five thousand two fifty balancing figure sixty eight thousand two twenty five same date by balance carry down this will be the opening balance for the next year on one one two thousand fifteen two balance brought down. Sixty-eight thousand two twenty-five. Okay. Now see the problem. Now we are in two thousand fifteen. Okay. On first July two thousand fifteen, one fourth of the machinery installed on one one two thousand thirteen became obsolete and was sold for rupees seven thousand. Okay. So we have to calculate depreciation till the date of sale for this particular part of machine alone, not the entire machine only. One fourth. One fourth means twenty-five percentage of this particular machine sold for rupees seven thousand. Okay, so we have to calculate depreciation till the date of sale, and then we have to calculate the profit or loss on sale of this particular part of machine that has to be entered in the machinery account. Okay, now let's see the calculation. See the working note one calculation of profit or loss on sale of Part of machine one, not the entire machine, only part of the machine they have sold. Okay, so on one one two thousand thirteen, the cost of the machine. See the problem. Purchased on one one thirteen a machine for rupees forty thousand. Okay, forty thousand. Now one fourth of the machine installed on one one two thousand thirteen became obsolete and was sold for seven thousand. So only one fourth of the machine. So forty into one by four ten thousand. Now we have to calculate depreciation for the first year. Already we have calculated for the entire machine. No, here you have to consider only one fourth calculation. So ten thousand into ten percent is thousand. So balance nine thousand. So this is the WDV value on one one fourteen. After charging first year depreciation, this is the WDV value, return down value. Okay, next year thirty first December two thousand fourteen. Again we have calculated depreciation. How much? Ten percentage on nine thousand nine hundred. So after charging depreciation, this is the return on value as on one one two thousand fifteen. Okay. Now during two thousand fifteen, they have decided to sell no on one seven till the date of sale. We need to calculate depreciation, right? Okay. One seven two thousand fifteen depreciation. How much? Eight thousand hundred into ten percentage into six by twelve. From December two thousand fourteen to first July two thousand fifteen, how many months? Only six months. Six by twelve, four hundred and five rupees. Okay, subtract this value, then you will be getting return on value as on one seven two thousand fifteen. That is on the date of sale, the return on value of the machine is seven thousand six ninety five. Now we can compare with the selling price to find out profit or loss on the sale of asset. Selling price is given in the problem. See the problem was sold for seven thousand. Okay, just subtract seven thousand. You will be getting balancing figure six hundred and ninety-five is the loss because uh, 
the selling price is lesser than the WDV value as on the date of sale. Okay. So, what is the difference? 695. This is the loss. Now, see the solution. During 2015, they have decided to sell part of first machine. Okay. So, how much? 7000. Now, you have to enter depreciation only for that particular part of machine as on the date of sale. Okay. That is on 1-7-2015 by depreciation you can refer the working note for this calculation see the working note 1 7 2015 how much depreciation 405 rupees 405 this is the depreciation only for the part of the machine which you are going to sell okay now you can enter the transaction for sales they have decided to sell for 7000 what is the entry by bank 7000 okay so when you sell something you'll be getting either profit on sale or loss on sale see the working note here we have got loss no 695 this has to be entered under credit side of machinery account in case of profit this will be entered under debit side here we have got loss that has to be transferred to profit and loss account within the bracket you can mention loss on sale of asset 695 that's all okay so out of three machine we have decided to sell part of first machine and we have entered depreciation for that particular part alone and we have entered a sales transaction and we have entered the result that is loss on sale okay see now we have to calculate depreciation for the rest of the machines at the end of the year by depreciation according to this method we have to consider wdv return on value no in the beginning we have 68,225. This amount consists of three different machines. Now you have to eliminate the part of first machinery returned on value because that part is already sold off. Now we have to calculate depreciation only for part of first machinery, second machinery and third machinery. Okay. So we have sold part of first machinery that we have entered above. Now you have to remove this particular part of machinery value as on 1 1 2015 from this value for the rest of the amount you can directly calculate depreciation at 10 percentage okay for that just see the working note one okay so return on value on 1 1 2015 how much 8100 okay now subtract this value return on value from this total return on value in order to find out the return on value for the rest of the machine okay 68,225 minus 8,100, you will be getting 60,125. This is the WDV value for the rest of the machine, okay, into 10 percentage depreciation. How much? 6,013. You can round off the figure. If you get point, you can round off. Now, you will be getting the balancing figure. 68,225, 68,225, balancing figure 54,112, same date, by balance, carry down, this will become the opening balance for the next year. On 1-1-2016, one, one, to balance, brought down 54,112, okay. So, this is the way to prepare machinery account. In the problem, they ask you to prepare machinery account for the first three years. First year over, second year and third year. Okay. You can find the playlist link in the description box for the entire collections. Hope you like this video. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.